Hobby Farm for students. Hopefully I'm going to be able to explain to you what the difference is between ultrafiltration and equilibrium dialysis in determining the amount of drug binding in the blood. We know that um, unbound drug is important because it's the drug that binds to the receptor site. It's the drug that uh, undergoes um, glomerular filtration in the kidneys and it's the drug that undergoes metabolism in the liver. Um, so, and it is also the drug that crosses membrane. So we important to know how much of the drug is unbound. So there are two methods. There's ultrafiltration here on the left and equilibrium dialysis on the right. With ultrafiltration, like it says, it uses an ultrafine filter here, this little membrane here, to filter off the amount of unbound drug. So we take a blood sample from a patient, filter it, and measure the amount of drug in the receptor compartment. But we know that the, there's a constant fraction of drug that's bound and unbound all the time. It's part of the property of the drug. So as drug becomes unbound, so that bound there becomes unbound and then moves away, the total unbound concentration in this donor compartment becomes less and therefore some of the drug that is bound becomes unbound and then moves through. So the amount of unbound drug here, C2, is actually an overestimate of the actual amount of unbound drug in the blood. If we look at equilibrium dialysis, instead of using a filtering membrane, we use a dialysis membrane. This dialysis membrane only allows this drug and fluid to pass through. And of course, the driving force here is the osmotic pressure. It tries to create a situation where the two sides of the membrane are also osmotic. Because remember, it's a colligative property, so it's solubilized drug. So the unbound drug then moves through the membrane to the um, donor compartment and to try and equalize the osmotic pressure. And then we can see that really it's the unbound drug that moves through. And if we measure the concentration here, it should give us a good estimate of the amount of unbound concentration. So C3 here is approximately equal to C3 there, the concentrations. But again, as more unbound drug moves away from the compartment, then more bound drug will become unbound. So it also overestimates the amount of drug. But with equilibrium dialysis, the overestimation is not as great as it is with ultrafiltration, which gravity is the force that separates it. I mean, we know that drugs are bound by very, very weak forces. So which method would we really use? Um, ultrafiltration is quicker, cheaper, so you can use it for there to estimate it. Equilibrium dialysis, dialysis tubing is a bit more expensive and it takes a little bit longer, but perhaps it's more accurate. But in most cases, they both really are just estimates of the unbound concentration. And just to have an estimate, is actually um, enough information for us to move on. We really just want to know if the drug is seriously bound or seriously unbound for the amount of drug. And that I hope will explain the difference. I shall see you later. Thank you.